April 14th, 2010. I'm looking for a robots event and it looks like I found it. While the students gather for the robots lab, a little double shot of espresso. Go. So robots. So this is the time spending uh, the College of Computing. The second floor is dedicated to the robotics lab. Uh, and all the cool products have been here. <laughs> I think we're here. Uh, series project of Professor Frank Dela. link there uh, is our 4D cities page which you know has a little bit of background and movies um, and there is a secret uh, door here this little image if you click on it you get a Java applet which is our 4D cities demo applet um, you know it creates a 3D model it doesn't create this in real time we built this in advance um, but instead of just having the 3D uh, model of the city there, you also have a little time slider at the bottom. Mm. Okay? And so here, this is a picture from 1967. So if you take the slider and go all the way to 1864, which is when, when, when Sherman did his, his thing here, right? you see that there's way less photographs, and photographs are much older. So here is... Here is some Union soldiers breaking up the. Uh, hmm.
so, I mean, you can see we have these uh, Omni Drive wheels here. Uh, if everyone wants to come around with the cars. Those are custom, aren't they? All of these are custom. Those are Omni wheels too. Yeah. Um, we have to manufacture all of these on site. We have, uh, we're also well beyond the. It's twitchy. Yeah, I don't know about it. Yeah, so, so far we've generally found that I think there's like one person in the world that we know of that can actually like drive these effectively just like as well as the computer can. And that guy's a former race driver. Uh, yeah. uh, the first two we mentor and some of our average partners. And is that something undergraduates can participate in too? Oh yeah, this is like almost all undergraduates. I mean, I'm actually a PhD student, but the majority of all of this is being done by undergrad students. systems, but also social animals. And uh, bees are one of the most interesting social animals because they're insects and, you know, in that regard, fairly simple animals, uh, but also they have uh, complex and interesting ways of communication and coordinating uh, a food source that's uh, one kilometer away. Um, then the number of times she does this uh, is telling the other bees how rich is that food source. Uh, so the bees that watch this um, fly out of the hive, go to that food source. If they think it's great, they come back and do the dance also, and then more bees. And so, so, yeah, so, so I know some of these folks. So where, what's the rest of it? Is this? It's just a uh, precious Austin, Matt, and Brooke. So they, where's everybody else from? Boston. We're from Boston. Boston. Okay. So you're now from first. Yes. Yeah. Good. I think so far, most schools I have been like a one large group from one large school, local. So it's good to see we've got the first folks here. And, 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 and some of these folks are folks that I've been working with for, for a couple of years. But, um, okay, so good, good to see you all here. Um, the one, there's going to be several things I'm going to show you here. And, uh, you know, it'll, researchers and PhD students, research. A good part of what I'm going to show you here is stuff being done by undergraduates. These are things that you could be doing a year or two after being here at Georgia Tech. See them working. You can see the ground station. Uh, we've got a couple things happening there on the ground. People down there working. But this is this is live from this morning. People working. Um, so I wanted to get to the idea. You know, this is not just all kind of like theoretical stuff where people. You know, we have actually people out of the field, and we have undergraduates out in the field doing doing real interesting robotics things. Much uh, easier to do than uh, robot with legs because uh, when you try to build a lab. You can deal with uh, lots of joints and limbs, figure out how, how it moves, load them, and, and then the result will be it cannot move so fast. But if we have a robot with wheels, to our robot, so, and then we can study more studies about how the robot can manage to uh, things from like us. So, so today we are supposed to show how the robot that because right now the robot is like a So it can be like a So you can the arms start moving. Yeah, so that's our thing. Thank you. 